start of my weekly series of informational videos on the Ivory Build Woodpecker. This week's video will be about the past and current range of the Ivory Build. In James Tanner's 1942 monograph, The Ivory Build Woodpecker, he drew the lines that long defined the Ivory Build's range. He created this map by collecting what he considered to be credible sightings. However, it wasn't long before people realized that this map was far too small. So I created a more comprehensive map using many other sources, and the map they create is much more understandable than the one Tanner grew. I used every recorded setting of an ivory bill since the 1700s. Um, most notably, there was a vagrant ivory bill. The specimen was collected in Michigan, which is very definitely unusual. A specimen was supposed to have been collected, but its current location is not known. The northernmost point of its range seems to be around Cape May. So once you connect the dots, you end up with this, which looks a lot um, less unusual than Tander's range map. If you compare it with the forest map of the U.S., it matches up pretty well. And these are the photo credits. The first range map was from the RACM, and the uh, forest map was from the University of Texas Libraries.